Hello and a very good afternoon to everyone here on Forex Friday. So I just want to just give you all an update on uh, what we are looking at and what positions uh, we do have. One of the live positions that we do have at the moment is Euro Dollar. In fact, we have two positions on this. The first position was taken on the break of this swing low on the 8th of Feb. The reason for that being is that this swing high was lower than that and this low was higher than that. That's what we call a market compression here at Master the Markets according to the market dynamic flow. Now when there's a market compression wherever price breaks out at, at either this level 3351 or 1352 then we can then take it either as a long or either as a short. Usually after market compressions, the price breakout will be quite aggressive. And traders will usually be positioning themselves to take the momentum flow at either break of these price levels. And that is what we then had at the 14th of Feb where we did enter the trade, which is actually on Valentine's Day. Now, next, after that, for the next two or three days price was hovering around and again we saw an opportunity in fact on the four hour time frame to take another position at the break of 13300. Now I'm just going to go on to the four hour time frame and just show you that opportunity that we did see. So over here so we can see that on the 15th of Feb at 13303 there was a swing low being formed and then on the 20th of Feb, we saw a break of that particular level. And that's where we entered again. This was our second position. And the stop loss being for the swing high. Now, you must remember, one of the critical edge that we do have here at Master the Markets is the swing high and swing low levels that we do have. Uh, that is highlighted by all these pink circles and the blue ones that you saw on the 4 hour time frame. Now, these pink circles are all defined by ALGO's formulas here, which is just exclusive to master the market clients and which are now being defined by absolute consistent parameters in which the swing high and swing lows are then constantly are being calculated and being identified in the market because remember the swing high and swing low levels are very critical levels of market momentum and market price flow okay so that's on the euro dollar position over here and you can also see that on the euro dollar position we can see over here that I've got two live positions you can see the first position was entered on the 14th of Feb over here and that's at $1,206 up and running and there's another position here $1,000 which I entered later on on the 20th of Feb okay so that's what you guys um, can see now let me just zoom in just a bit and you can see much more clearly that I have entered it at 3350 first level and then second one at 3302 now we are at a very good profit first target uh, pretty much at 3100 second one at 3040 now let me just move on to the just the other currencies just to give you all an update according to Aussie dollar it's has been identified by this uh, square systems that we have over here it's a red on the weekly the daily and the four hour we can see that a massive big downtrend on um, Aussie dollar I'm waiting at least for a 50% pullback or a 78.6% pullback after which then I will then um, manage my positions or look at uh, orders to enter on Aussie dollar. Next on Euro Yen, what I'm really looking at according to the um, square systems, I'm looking at uh, overall biased uptrend you can see according to the green uh, boxes over here and then on the 4 hour over here I'm having actually a downtrend in fact. So what we can really see from those time frames is that we're having a retracement on the daily which is now coming out to be a downtrend on the 4 hour but anything uh, from a 50% FIB retracement or 78.6% retracement I will then be looking to enter long on this particular trade because the momentum is still on the upside now in terms of um, cable I've gone through Euro just now and what positions we've been um, live uh, strong bias on the downside according to weekly, daily and 4 hour. Monthly is showing um, a market compression. Let me just zoom in in here. We can see that uh, on the 4 hour is a massive downtrend. A bit of a retracement 
I'll be looking for at least a 50% FIB retracement or 70.6% retracement before I will be looking to take uh, this short or even in fact long if I do see market reversals. In fact, right now um, on cable, I wouldn't be, I'd be very cautious in fact to take any um, downtrend positions because of the extended downward move and therefore we'll be looking at any reversal moves uh, which we also teach uh, here at Master the Markets. Now, next, dollar Swiss. Uh, one interesting thing that I do want to mention to you all is um, dollar Swiss is still in a downtrend on the daily time frame. I'm looking at a break of this momentum up. First level that I'm looking at it to break is at 9230, and that is from analysis of our 4 hour and 1 hour time frame because that would be the first um, break in momentum on the upward retracement. But remember, the daily is actually in a downtrend on dollar Swiss because if I were to just to mention this quite a bit, is that um, you can see that on the um, 13th of um, January swing low, that price structure was broken as a structural failure and then a bit of a retracement. So that's what we're looking at. So that's a downtrend on the dollar Swiss daily. Dollar yen, last but not least, um, strong bullish uptrend except on the 4 hour, which is showing a bit of a weakness. Now, in terms of um, retracement, if I do see a break at this level here, at 9211, then I'm seeing a downtrend because there's a price structural failure. Once again, because our last swing low was identified according to Algo's formulas over here at Master the Markets at 9211. Okay, so that's the um, summary so far on all the positions. And just to wrap up uh, trades for this week, open up and running. $2,190 up in profit, uh, two positions on Euro dollar, one on the 14th, one on the 20th, waiting for another 2030. In fact, price is at 3177, 3102. We're looking for another 70 pip dip before we hit our target, and then another further um, 100 pip dip, 120 something pip dip before we get to our second target to bag in. Uh, altogether about 4 to 5 percent profit. Alright, so that's all from us for today from Master the Markets. Good luck trading. Take care and bye for now.